He's Bert Kreischer. I'm Tom Segura. This is that new, new. It's two bears, one cave. The 12 years in the making. 12 years in the making. 12 years in the making. We wrote a sketch about two bears, one cave one time. Do you remember it or no? No. It was an animated thing where it's like these two guys are in the woods and it's the winter's coming and there are two bears and they live together and they're like, hey, do we have enough food for the winter? And do we have, <laughs> and then, and then the guy's like, yeah, but like, I don't think I have enough cum inside of me. Yeah. And then, and they just keep fucking. And yeah. every time they stop fucking, they go, wait, what about the food? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I forgot about the food. Do you want to animate it still? Yeah, dude. I half sold a TV show based on me and you being gay. What is it called? It's like the one I was telling you about yesterday. That's the show. One of the things are like, well, like what would you and Tom Segura go? And I go, oh, we'd hang out with Rob Gronkowski, Gronkowski and have like a bareback mountain. Oh, I would moment. definitely. And they're like, wait, what would start it? And I go, just Rob eating lollipops. <laughs> <laughs> just Dude. me, you, and him in a canoe, and he's eating a lollipop. Yeah. Me and you were like, motherfucker. And we just start fucking? And we just fuck him. Wait, is this... You sold this? <laughs> so it's a possibility. If Rob Gronkowski has a sense of humor, which I think he, he does. does. Dude, I think he would fucking love me. Dude. Rob Gronkowski would fucking love us. He would love you more. I get it. Oh, because, yeah. You know what? But but then he would be like, Bert's kind of stealing the party limelight, so right. I'm gonna hang out with this Tom. This is a perfect more. way. What's this up, Rob? This is a perfect way to start off this show. Let's go through famous duos in history. Yeah, and you pick which one you are and which one I am. Okay. So Rob Gronkowski, uh, uh, the quarterback, Brett Brady, Brady, uh, Tom Brady. Oh, I'm Brady. Okay, and I'm Rob Gronkowski. Of course. Okay, perfect. All right, perfect. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, uh oh 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 um uh lucille ball and uh was it Des Desi Arnaz? Arnaz? Yeah. Oh, lucille ball yeah okay um saddam hussein and uh and the guy Gaddafi? Bin Laden. oh bin laden oh oh yeah i'm bin laden you're saddam i'm definitely saddam yeah i am definitely saddam dude i am plotting <laughs> I am murdering so many more people. You're doing it in a more grandiose okay, way. Okay, okay, okay. Hitler and Mussolini. I'm Mussolini. I am definitely Hitler. I am definitely Hitler. <laughs> Big dreams, bragging. I'm only 45. Can you believe I'm getting this shit done? <laughs> this, will, we, this will be a fun game. I just didn't want to say, oh, I'm definitely Hitler. That's why I, that's why I picked Mussolini. <laughs> Wait, dude, what are you drinking? Coffee. Do you want something else? No. Yes. No. No, because I drove. That's okay. And I've been getting sick. I don't want to get fucking sick. No, it's fine. No, 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 no. I'm Let's start. It's a nice morning. Let's just fucking enjoy our morning. That's a horrible fucking. Are you going to have a shot? I'll have, I'll have a drink. Let's have a drink. Oh, you. Are you fucking serious? Hi, how you doing? How much did this cost? It's good. It's great, gal. Cheers. Cheers. Who the fuck is that? It's Hannah. She's full time now. Oh my God. She put on hair and makeup at this hour? Yeah, she's Why great. Why do I feel like yours doesn't have alcohol in it? It does, of course it does. Switch with me. <laughs> no, it's got alcohol. Liar. No, I can't, you're sick. I can't switch with I didn't you. even touch it yet. Well, I already touched mine. I don't want it. Mine has a ton of fucking alcohol in it. But now, be honest, don't you feel better? I do. <laughs> <laughs> just a little hint of that it just it's dude i've been i've been struggling with like the i don't understand people who are straight up vegan straight up on meds st like don't drink don't do anything no i go i don't understand where they get their pleasure like fully clean fully clean they, but they've you know anybody who's usually fully like that has seen like the bottom of the barrel they've they've been they take they took the ride so far that they're like the only way i can live is going, you know what I mean? If you're fully I've clean, seen some low barrels, really? Yeah, like, like shitting blood in an airport. Like, I've never sucked a dude's dick for anything ever. Never, have you ever touched one? Nope, I took a <laughs> long time on that. One time, one time, <laughs> yeah, I was, was, I was like, huh, I've partied a lot. I've never touched a dude's dick, I've never touched a dude's dick. Yeah, no, that's 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 right. <laughs> that's crazy. I've never, I mean, that's it's fine if no, you. No, but did. I mean, like, I mean, you think that I, as much fucking around as I do. That's like, true. I would think that. Have you put your dick on on a bunch of dudes like elbows and shoulders and hands and stuff? Yeah, my dick has a has a uh, a pedigree like a eighteen hundred explorer. 
My dick yeah. is fearless. It has been on shoulders. It I have a picture on... of you uh, from Hawaii, 2007 or 8. Yeah. Where you're naked in my hotel room. And you, I, dude, by the way, that's and you, not. You tuck your stuff and then you squat and you go like. Yeah. That was my move for a long time before I had material. That was my move. <laughs> dude, how many this times? How strong. many times? How many, shut up. Night. Shut up. How many times have you and Push seen me naked together? I can tell you. I can name them. Montreal. Yeah. I remember I came in. I was like, guys, don't go to. Were you getting naked at Florida State a lot? Like, was it? Yeah. That's why when this Me Too thing came out, I was like, whoa. Yeah. I was like, we. <laughs> I was like, so wait, you're telling me when my, when my buddy passed out with his mouth open and I put my balls in his mouth I raped him and Leanne was like oh yeah oh yeah and I was like then he raped me the next night like, it, it, if <laughs> if he held on to it like if he was like really upset you imagine if like if that guy he went on to work like for an air conditioning company and every day he would he would go home and be like you know the one thing that really fucked me up was that Burt guy dipping his balls in my mouth. And then you became this successful high profile comic. Dude, I see him all the time. He lives in Seattle. Is he okay with you? Uh, I guess there is an, there is a, it'd be cool if we got him fired up to like, there, no, <laughs> to see there is, is that there not? is a legit, no, no, I'm just moving. Okay. Where are you going? I was going to adjust no, it no, for no, you. No. There is a legit <sighs> picture of me. Yeah. Cock in hand, right? Yeah. Balls hanging shirtless. I look, fucking good uh just like a like a gargoyle over this guy seth who's passed out mouth open and i'm just about to teabag him yeah a legit picture that if it came out i'm sure it would ruin my career but a lot of people would first go he looks good as fuck yeah well yeah like he looks hot speaking of hot and looking good yeah um did you see the instagram versus reality photo of like ethan uh klein and then me did you see no these? no no so can you make that bigger can you make e so like, there's a photographer who oh uh, my god who took this is fucking brilliant. Wait, have you seen how much different? Like, look how good that looks, right? Wait, okay, that is drastic. Have you seen handsome Jim Norton? No. Can you pull up handsome Jim Norton? Handsome Jim Norton is the most. It's the subtlest fucking. Let's see if it comes up. Oh, go okay. The first picture, first picture, first picture. Look at this. This is just handsome Jim Norton. He looks great. It kind of looks like Sean Evans. Yeah, they just, it's subtle. They do something. I don't know what it is. But that's the thing. All right, go back to the Ethan one. Go back to Ethan. And basically, if you're listening, Ethan Klein, uh, H3, H3, um, did this. <laughs> He was. He did a great video. Do you see his video breaking down this this whole thing? No. Oh my god! It's a it's a big subreddit called Instagram versus Reality. Anyways, uh, a photographer. I would I would love his name if if you know it. Um, yeah. I'll find it. But anyways, took the photo that Ethan posted and did what some Instagrammers are doing. There's people doing this, not as a joke, regularly. They're t they look like Ethan on the left and they're posting <coughs> pictures. And a lot of them are women posting pictures of themselves look uh, with this like extreme you know like unattainable beauty so anyways then the guy did it to me um which is the other one i mean look at the hair but you could look like that no nah. no all you have to do is dye your beard and get transplants <laughs> but then i also asked if he would do it for you oh fuck off well just to see it like see if you like it or not i look the same what are you talking about? I just have a Supreme hat on. <laughs> look at the beard. Look at the jawline. The Wait, is chest. that Dan Bilzerian? Yeah. <laughs> That's Dan Bilzerian? <laughs> yeah. And it's got Dan's watch on too. Look at your watch. On your oh, head. dude, I could definitely look like that. I could definitely look like that. Do you feel like your life's much better on the right? Like which, which, one, your, which one's the right? Over here. This one? Yeah. What's your, what do you think life is like for no, there? No, the guy on the right... Uh, has to fuck Liam with the lights off. You think so? A hundred percent. The guy on the left's like, this is what I signed up for. <laughs> <laughs> the guy on the left actually is a fucking, uh, by the way, the guy on the left is much better looking than me right now. Oh, because it was a while ago? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was when I was fitting in that sub pop shirt. I baby doll, I, I baby doll tea out of that now on my belly. Wait, what are you up to now? What are you I'm the heaviest I've ever been. I, I, really? I was the heaviest. Are you hungry? I was the 
Yeah, I'm hungry? starving. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm dying to see what this sketch is. It's not yeah, a sketch. I'm starving, Tom. I'm what? just saying, do you want some food? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm curious, man. Well, you know, it's so funny. <laughs> Thank you fuck. so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank I really you. appreciate it. I saw yeah, I saw that look. I can't help it, man. Yeah, his eyes. I know that you're not supposed to do that anymore, but no, I can't help it. Aren't you not human if you don't do that, though? No, but that's like... That's, that's, like, like, that's the new thing now is like, eyes stay up. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Do you want a donut? <laughs> yeah, I do want a donut. You win. Dude, I've been wanting a donut for so fucking long. Where'd you get these? What's, uh, uh, blinkies. Blinkies? Yeah. Can I tell you? Yeah. Okay. I, I will always say, rank rank your order of donuts. Okay. Okay. Um number one, number one's old fashioned. Uh chocolate. Chocolate old fashioned. Actually, maple old fashioned is the best. Okay. Maple old fashioned. Then I go glaze, because this is a no harm, no foul. Yep. Right? Yep. This is the heaviest one. Yep. This is how I go. Hung right over, here. that'll feel really good. Because that'll Dude, sop up some shit. And let me tell you something, there is no better feeling hung over. Than feeling those crush between your teeth. Yeah. The fucking greatest feeling. And there's nothing better than like, and I don't do this, but when this is how my kids eat and my wife eat donuts and I watch them do it and I want to do it like that, they get a donut and they go. Oh, fuck them. That's my cousin. My cousin Brian does that. Oh my God. Don't you hate them? I've been dieting so fucking long. I hate that he, my, my cousin so takes the good. bite and then he goes, and he's a grown man. And I go, what are you doing? He goes, it, it lasts longer this way. This is how you should eat a donut. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. That's a good donut. Yeah. Can I tell you my problem with donuts in LA? What? Is that there, I mean, there's a lot of comics with these notes. They're all the same um, distributor distributes all the same ingredients to all the same donuts places. You think they say they taste the same? All donuts taste the same in LA. There's no really? donuts that taste different in LA. Every donut place. Somebody's gonna get really mad at you for that. Bring it. I just put fucking, fucking my wig. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you think, by the way, looking at these before and afters before yeah. we get back to the donuts? Yeah. Do Do you want to go? Would you go? And and to a place and get get our beards dyed, a hundred percent. Really? I would love to get my beard dyed. Let's get our beard like professionally. You know, like yeah, a, a salon. A hundred percent. Wait, does Dan Bilzerian get his dear beard dyed? He has to. Oh my it's god! So dark, dude. I hate when you see something and you everyone saw it forever and you're the first one to see his it and you're like, hey. shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dan Bilzerian gets his beard. Of course he gets his beard dyed. He's not 25. No, he's not. Yeah, he's in his 30s. Yeah, of course, man. I, I wonder how old he is. My mom taught him. Your mom taught him? Yeah. What do you mean? She was his teacher. In, in Florida? Like first grade, yeah. First grade kindergarten. Yeah, he lived right across the lake from me. I love that he's one of those guys, too, that never, never sways from what he's been posting at all it's like be real it's like they have the the cypress hill guys haven't taken a day off Dude. from weed in 25 every post is Dude. like a joint a bong weed they never take a day off coming from a brand heavy uh entertainer yeah even i get like i get it tito's i drink a lot let's yeah. let's dial it back show something regular dude those moments you get fucking Those motherfuckers. <laughs> she just made mine with vodka. Nah, she's she's a good girl. She's on a she got a pension plan. Motherfucker. Um, yeah, those guys just fucking they're they're like I almost wonder, I wish I had less insight on life. <laughs> what? Like like you know, I'm not, not shitting on Be Real or Dan Bilzerian, but no. they don't really have like any other idea other than like... Right, they're all in on their thing. They got, they're like, dude, I found my lane. But I kind of respect that though, Do I right? listen to Cypress Hill singing this morning? Yeah. Like, he doesn't even sing in his real voice. No, he's always done that like... Right. Yeah. And you're like, like he's not even like, like, I mean, not to be shitty, but like he was a little bit of a caricature even as an artist. So like... I'm sure when it comes to his real life, he's like, well, what worked for me as a caricature, I got to kind of caricature it up in my real life too. But Same what, with Dan Bilzerian. It's like, 
all of a sudden this like tits and guns works and he's like dude let's just put the pedal to the metal and go i yeah. wish i could be like that i see comics like that that just lean into whatever fucking works for but them. you don't think you kind of like a hundred percent do but you're saying but i wish I'm, i could be like but that. i'm cognizant of it oh. and i go all right i get it my shirt's always off like we don't need to take your i like i don't need to take my shirt off every fucking day yeah 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 i don't ever Every time I go on stage or every time I do anything, take my shirt off. But at a big theater show now, I imagine that if you don't, people would be like, what oh, the they'd fuck? Boo. They'd boo. Yeah. They get pissed when I do it the improv and they'll take it off. I didn't take it off the other day at the improv. People were like, come on, take it off, man. And I'm like. <laughs> You're a hot chick. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I'm working on stuff. <laughs> You're a stripper, dude. Take it. Fuck come him. on, dude. Dude, take it off. Come on. <laughs> Just take it off. And looking at me like, come on. And I lift my shirt up like this and show my belly. He's like, all right, that, that's good fucking unbelievable yeah uh you yeah but i would say that that's as a result of buying in so hard right leaning into it well i yeah but mine wasn't like i don't know because i love i gotta tell you i love cypress hill i do too i like be real yeah he's I like great be real a lot Sand dog. I, I like the by the way DJ i like dan Muggs. bilzerian a lot yeah Dude, dan bilzerian kind of changed the way i did instagram Really? Yeah, because I started watching his Instagram. I mean, like, don't realize I could sh I could shit. I'm not shitting on these people, but I could shit on anyone and then give you my honest opinion of them. Like, like I, I break anything down. I love when go, I love when you get fired up to shit on somebody. It's one of my favorite phone calls to get from you. Dude. You know what? Fuck this guy. He's a fucking cunt. <laughs> I, have a, I have a couple of those in line right now. Let's play a game. I'll shit on someone, and you got to guess who it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, all right. I can't. Are we gonna kill these? Yeah, come on. I wish you. You wish yours had alcohol. In it, it does. It does not. Yes, it does. You're such a cunt. Smell. You're such, Smell it. Smell. I'm about to fall asleep in my car now. This fucking. You know what I was gonna do? I was gonna ride my bike here and show up in biking <laughs> here. <laughs> I'm doing that next time. Are you okay now? You sound. De deathly I, i'm fine what is it what happened um i got food poisoning dude i ate i was on a tear have some donuts yeah I'm, I'm going i'm going the uh i <laughs> i got food poisoning i just was fucking I, I ate so much shit i was on a tear i was the head i weighed in that morning come on tell us 258 that morning i weighed in at 258 with clothes on like just to be fair but this I was is like i was like wait, i'm not gonna the, three days ago the day i woke up the day I, I woke up i guess this was tuesday or tuesday yeah i woke up and i was i just felt fat as fuck and i was i have clothes on i was like you know what i'm gonna weigh i never weigh in with clothes on i always went yeah. totally naked so I'm gonna, I'm gonna weigh myself see where i'm at because i'm really i'm like i'm gonna spend these next weeks before we go to bali i'm gonna go i'm gonna spend time losing weight so I'm fully clothed. I get on and it's 258 and I am crushed. I'm like, fuck it. In my head, I go, let's just get to 260 and start. Like why fucking piss yeah. alone about 258? And I was on a tear. I had ice cream. I had two different types of pasta. I was drinking Tito's. This I is had a dip. after you saw 258. This is after scale. 258. I'm like, <laughs> fuck this. Fuck it. I'm, <laughs> I'm drinking beers before the meeting at TBS. We go on a pitch at TBS. We have beers down at Claim Jumpers. I get an app at Claim Jumpers. I'm drinking beers in the meeting at TBS. I had two beers in the meeting at TBS. What? I had Skittles. I had uh, Reese's Pieces, a peanut butter cup. You I don't, come home. You don't have an addictive behavior problem. Dude, I have, I have, I have a junkie's behavior, but a freshman junkie. Yeah, yeah. Like in like, I don't go, I don't like crave drugs, but like just impulse. And so I go home and we get ice cream. I tell the girls who wants ice cream sandwiches. And they're like, oh, there's this great place over on Lancashire. So Is Leanne go, saying anything during this time? No. Nothing? So we go, I have sushi. Um... <laughs> I ate so much, Tom. You have no. I had a full dinner. I had a full dinner. Then I had pasta. Then I had ice cream sandwiches. Then I and 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 then I'm laying in bed and I just I go. I don't feel good. <laughs> what? Yeah. I have never. I have violently threw up. I've never. I thought I had a stroke because your my photo face, of my your face was numb. I was throwing up. My came up. My face was numb, and I was like, Oh my god! I just have a stroke. Do you know how I knew about this? How? Somebody DM me a screenshot of your story. And I was like, what the fuck, man? I, I immediately, I don't know if you can hit his stories. It's not there uh, anymore. Oh, it's not there anymore. All right. 
Uh, um, my password. Oh, oh, yeah. Hit the hit that one. <laughs> hit Joey. <laughs> hit <Fucking> Joey. Joey. <laughs> Man, he's he's lifting weights with one arm. He's got a little Chinese kid with a camera. He's walking around. He's I didn't even understand what he was talking about. Shit like that. I having yeah. a good time. I saw him last week. He got so fat. He looked Chinese. <laughs> I didn't even know it was Bert. I thought it was a fat China. I thought it was a fat Chinaman and shit. I love I love that people are like, bro. When Joey Diaz calls you fat, it's the best, right? You're like that guy. <laughs> that guy says I look bad. Oh my god. <clears throat> God, yeah, uh, but then I, I just, I just went. Come on, man. Yeah, cheers. Uh, I'm still rolling it. The uh, man, I, I've never gotten sick like that in my entire. She so went on a full binge though before you got sick. And then when I got sick, I woke up the next morning and I was like, I'm not getting on the scale. I, I couldn't do it. I, I was no. Why I, would you I had do a that? chest infection too. Oh yeah, that's pretty crazy. I had a chest infection too, and so my oh that door is open. Let me close it. Yeah. Hold for tour dates. The Body Shots uh, World Tour is going back this fall. Uh, we have added, I think, thirteen shows. So come and see me if your show's sold out. Ben, get a new ticket. When's your tour at? Yeah, uh, the Take It Down Tour. TomSeguro.com. We just announced a bunch of uh, fall dates, and this isn't coming out for a um, couple weeks yeah so least. i can i could tell you what's what's been added since which is pretty exciting here we go we are going on sale with another dublin show um uh let's see Be uh benslehem in the parks casino in pa uh Bethlehem. no th that's that's a different one this is actually benslehem really yeah uh, then Lake Charles, I'm doing the uh, Golden Nugget there. The Warner Theater. Is it, is it, you ready for a really inappropriate joke? Yeah. That would have been funny 20 years ago and is going to really offend people? Yeah. Is it a subsidiary of Bethlehem for people with hair lips? <laughs> okay. It's Bethlehem. It might be. Bethlehem. Does anyone have hair, hair lips anymore? Yeah, a couple of them work here if you don't. <laughs> Sorry, one more. Hold on. Palace Theater, Columbus, Ohio. And uh, whatever, Grand Rapids, Michigan, also, and um, oh, and Windsor, Ontario, the Coliseum, Kansas City, Omaha, Buffalo, Cincinnati, Columbus. Just added those shows. Can't fucking wait. Are you getting a tour bus again? In the fall for some of the dates. I'm not doing like you do, where you where you like block it I'm out. out. I'm out straight. I started really? taking one weekend off. You're not taking one weekend off. Not one weekend starting when. September, mid-September, I go straight all the way to November 23rd and in uh, Columbus, Ohio. You take no days off? No days off. <laughs> None. That would be good for your health. Yeah. <laughs> well, I won't be drinking for October. Oh, that's true. So then I'll be healthy as fuck. And then I'm thinking about not drinking in November. Why? Uh, just getting ready for my special. And then... <laughs> when do you shoot? November 23rd in Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, you're doing Cleveland? Yeah. How I many are you going to shoot? Dude, I think the biggest mistake people, I'm going to shoot, I want to shoot four. Do you really? Yeah, I really do. Are you going to do that? I want to. Because this hour isn't like all the other hours. It's This hour has, I mean, every other hour I felt like I was so over prepared for it. This one's, I feel like you must have felt on your like third hour or your second or third. Yeah. We were like, fuck, I got to get it going again. Maybe your third or your fourth. Yeah. And, um, and I understand, now I understand the difference, what separates the cream from the rest, you know, like I go, Oh, this is where you find out who's a good comedian is who can turn these out. This is where you say like, you know, where people shit on Amy's leather special. Yeah. But I go, she wasn't ready. Yeah. But she didn't know she wasn't ready. Cause she was famous. Yeah. And she was just like, Oh, I'm ready. And, uh, or, or like a lot of everyone shits on really great comic specials and they go, Oh, they weren't ready. They just didn't know it. The difference is I don't have like a movie, a book. I don't have nine different things I'm working on. I'm just working on stand up, so I'm taking every weekend. I'm working every single weekend, adding shows everywhere. And and I don't want to shoot four because when I did Philly, I shot two and I bombed on the first one. Did you really? I fucking bombed. How why? I, I don't know. There was well, there was a number of reasons. Uh number one, the electricity went out and so they had to push the show by an hour. Um there was a rainstorm. And everyone had to wait outside in the rain. 
No one got beers. They had to start the show immediately. Some guy started heckling. Everyone was soaking fucking wet. It was a bunch. Or you would keep looking at the donuts while I'm talking. I'm looking at your drink. And so. So, uh, but yeah, it was, um, it was, it was, so I want to shoot four just to get it covered. Yeah. Uh, Joe did four. Did I he think really? twice he's done four. Yeah. I would do four. Do you got, that cuts into your money though, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah. But I mean, if you feel like it's going to make the best product. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shoot four. Yeah. That'd be great. I like, you know, the biggest mistake everyone makes is not filming their special in a place that they haven't been in a while. How do you not feel, wait, you like when someone I haven't been to Cleveland in like two years. That's the best. That's the yeah. best thing. I and everyone's like, no one's seen any of this material. By the way, and uh, it's such a great market. Like that audience, the audiences there are, are nuts. But what do you do? How do you go? How do you get from feeling burned out on these long, like with the material? Don't you hate it by a certain point? Um, no. Like if you don't take, like the way I do it is that I'll fucking hate it. But then by taking it like a week or two off. It's like, oh, it makes it kind of exciting. You know, you throw some new things in. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you, Hannah. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. You're slowly turning into morning radio. This is great. Who the fuck is she? She was just outside. This looks like a microphone at the funny bone. Yeah. Not bad. It's not bad? Not bad at all. Blinkies. Blinkies? Yeah. I had 20 before you got here. It'd be nice if you catch up. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I don't get burned out. I mean, I, I get burned out. No, but, but you know what I'm saying? Out. Like, burned out of, like, saying the jokes. Because if you do it, like, if you're like, I'm not going to take one week off. How do you get to the point, like, on week eight where you're like, oh, my God, it's the same fucking hour again tonight? You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. You just don't. I don't. I don't get burned out like that. I mean, I do. In in you don't get sick of material. I get sick of. I get. I the only thing I get sick of is uh, in honesty is telling the machine story. But but the rest of it's new enough where you're like it's still fun. Yeah, and I like yeah. to fuck around. I like. I have. I go up with little projects in my head. So I go. I hate my intro right now. Yeah. And so I just fuck around with my intro and try to find a way. I want to find the one way in that's the quickest and the funniest. So I keep fucking around with that. That's been my one project all through Europe was intros, but it didn't really work because you could really go in and go like I, my intro in most of uh, Northern uh, Europe or your was, uh, I feel like Richard Pryor did when he went to Africa. I know you guys look like me, but I don't know what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> that's funny. And so, and, but, and so like, I don't know, I, I throw away so much fucking material where I, I, I fuck with it and, I just go, eh, and I don't record it, and I just let it go. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I don't care. You know what you should do, bef by the way, in those eight weeks? What? Hire an audio engineer to come and record you doing a long set of all the material so that you have it recorded, audio. And then after your special comes out, since they don't release our audio anymore, you release the audio as your own album, completely separate from them. They released our audio. They don't, don't they? No, they just put like a couple of, they don't, you can't stream it or download it anymore. Really? Yeah. I wish, I, I want to, I, I tell you what I wish I could do. I wish I could have, you know how they have like a corporate, like doctors come into your business and go, this is where your business is failing. I wish they had that for comedians. They come in and go, hey man, just oh, so yeah. you know, yeah, like yeah. you're not on Spotify and, yeah. and you're not, you're not utilizing all the money you could get on t-shirts and this and this and this. I wish they had that for, um. For comedy, because I'm, I'm, I'm like fucking all over the map. Still number one. I know. Yeah. It's 930 in the morning. Is that really going to be a fucking detractor what's, for you? What's the earliest you've ever gotten drunk? On a vacation or something? It's been in the morning, but not like, I don't know, probably like. Breakfast, right? Yeah, breakfast. Nine. Like, I remember the first time I got breakfast drunk. I'd yeah. never heard of mimosas before. Yeah. And they were like bottomless mimosas. And I was like, I literally was like, we take our pants off. And they were like, no, <laughs> you can drink. I was, I was probably 18, 18 years old. And I was like, do you want one? No. No. Oh. And they were like, uh, and we had bottomless mimosas. And I was like, dude, 
afternoon drunk is the best. Yeah. I fucking loved it. We were in Jacksonville. I like doing, I remember doing brunches and if you have nothing that day and you start drinking at brunch, that nap, that, that afternoon nap feels like nothing else. You know what I mean? Like if you oh. drank in the morning and then you take that like 1.30, 2 p.m. nap and then you feel like the day really, really begins for you that evening. It's a beautiful thing. Dude, I want, I'm trying to get into edibles, but I have a terrible fear of them. Start mild. I'm, I know, but even still, it's like, I, like, see, but here's the problem is I go, oh, I'll eat edibles for my daughter's softball game. And then I'm like, mm. that, maybe that's not the place to do it. Yeah, it might be the setting. But that's when I want to is when I'm like, I'm bored out of my fucking mind. <laughs> at, so at, need, my, at my daughter's sporting event? She doesn't play. She just fucking rides the bench. And I got to watch these other girls play. And I was like, I would love to fucking just take it up to here. Oh. You know? D does she talk to you about sports? Dude, can I tell you the worst thing that happened the other day? Yeah. So... One night, one day, we're at wine tasting and um, in in San San Inez, and Leanne is drunk, and and my dad ate marijuana that day. He was eating marijuana, and my sisters ate some. And your my, dad really got into it, huh? Did Joey dad, really introduce him to it? Yeah, and my dad loves it. He does it. He does like five milligrams a night. <clears throat> so he says. My daughter's in the back of the bus and they're like, mom's wasted. And I was like, oh yeah, mom gets drunk. And they're like, how come you don't get wasted? I was like, I don't know. I just don't, I'm not into it that way. Like was, Leanne's drunk and I don't, I, yeah, I'm drunk as fuck, but they just can't see it. No one can see it. No one can see it. And so they're like, mom, have you smoked pot? And Leanne's drunk. She goes, yeah, so what? <laughs> and the girls are like, what? And even I'm like, whoa. And Leanne goes, I've smoked it four times and I've thrown up every time. Georgia <laughs> looks at me and she goes, have you ever smoked pot? And I was like, no, never. And they're like, really? And I go, yeah. So then we're at a party one night. Everyone's talking about cocaine. And Isla goes, uh, mom's snorted cocaine four times, but she's thrown up every time. And everyone's like, what? <laughs> I go, marijuana, Isla. Very different. Very different. And Georgia says, you really never smoked marijuana? And now I'm already in the lie. I'm like, no, I haven't. She goes, are you going to? And I said, well, I mean... Yeah, I go, I'll tell you what, if you wait until you're 25, I'll wait until you're 25. I'll never smoke it, and we'll smoke it our first time together. <laughs> and she goes, for real? And I said, yeah. How gullible is she? Dude, she believed in Santa until she was 13. That's high school. Like, How is that your daughter? High, high, that's me. That's me to a fucking T. Really? A hundred percent. You know how oh, gullible yeah, that's and fucking true. sweet I am? Yeah, 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 that is me. That is that my is personality. True. That's true, that's true, that's true. So I'm in. Did you tell her about your cocaine usage? So I'm in New York. I'm doing episodes of uh, of um, Something's Burning. And Leanne calls. I just got back from Europe. Leanne calls. She goes, uh, hey, how are you doing? I said, pretty good. She goes, are you, are you partying? And I said, no, actually, I'm not. I said, you know what? I, I, I did drink on Ari and Sean's episode, but I haven't drank on all the other episodes. I actually, and you know what? I, I take that back. I got high with Big J and Dan Soder, but not like super high, but like. <laughs> no, you're just adding stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's me. Yeah, I have of two course. Drinks. No, my favorite is when you go like, I never drink on stage, ever. I never drink on stage. <laughs> and then someone will be like, but on Saturday you had that drink on stage. He's like, oh, it was a late show. <laughs> so Leanne goes, Leanne goes, so you, wait. What happened? I said, I, go, I got high with Big J and Dan on the second episode, but not super high, just like functional giggly high. And it's silent. Leanne goes, your daughter's in the car. Georgia Chrysler. She's 14 years old, turning 15. Says, Tom, oh, deadpan, says, <clears throat> how long has this been going on? <laughs> Dude, my heart sank. The best part of the story is I... I was, I was obviously, you know, wait till Georgia hears about YouTube. Uh, <laughs> like, dude, have you ever does seen a little dive on dad? Dude, I sent you. <laughs> oh my God. <coughs> I sent, I, the best is I was with Colin Quinn and Dave Attell yeah. at the end of the day. And I was still bothered by it. And I told them and Dave and Colin are laughing hysterically. And Colin Quinn goes, 
How long has this been going on? What, the drug use or the lying? <laughs> Dude, you saw the one I did about the shells with the girls, right? The shell. Oh, uh, I think I started it, right? What did you Dude, do? You lied to her? If you if you can pull out, it would be impossible to find. Um, but you basically were uh, shell diving? No. So the girls, we were in Clearwater. This is when they were little girls. We were in Clearwater and they wanted to find shells. But for some reason, there were no shells on the beach. So I went to CVS and I bought like... $200 worth of shells and then I sprinkled them in front of our beach house and then when we went out I was like we should go look for shells but we started in the water do the best as we're in the water and I go I think I found one and the girls have been doing this the whole trip they're like dad I'm not diving down I go Georgia feel it she goes dad I'm not doing it they're young I go Isla Isla dives down and pulls up a fucking Lord of the Rings con like Lord of the Flies conch like shell just like oh and I and Georgia goes, wait, I want one. And I had another one in my hand, so I put it down. Georgia's like, and <coughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should get someone sick for every one of these. Oh man. And so Georgia pulls it up, and dude, they fucking lost their minds. They were like had the greatest trip. They had like Two hundred dollars worth of shined, like lacquered shells. They loved it, and they were like, These, "This is the most amazing trip ever, Dad." But that's the problem with my brain is I always want everything to be up to here. Always, always, everything for you has to be a ten. Everything, I, everything. I want everything to be a ten. Every meal, yeah. Every night out. There's no such thing as like that was a nice evening. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> we that. had dinner and a glass of wine. I don't understand anyone that has like a couple glasses of wine. <laughs> I don't understand Has anyone. a to-go bag, and they're like, that was fun. We should do that again. I don't get that. You're like, this has got to go. I want. This is how I want every night to end. Uh, no to-go bag, right? Everyone ate everything. Yeah. Everyone's at the table. Uh, no, I don't want any dessert. One more glass of wine. Well, let's do another bottle. And then we did the bottle, and someone's like, and then the women are like, I got to get out of here. And then you look at me, and you're like, you still up for a nightcap? I'm I like, know you. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Next thing you know, we're at fucking Pat's with all the black comics snorting coke. <laughs> That is such an inside joke. Only the black comics get it. The black New York comics? Dude, nope. All the black LA comics hang out at one bar. In, really? Yes. Yes. Pats? In the Valley, yeah. If you go there at any hour, you will run into a BET's worth lineup. Really? And it is fun. It's right by my house. We go there all the time. I always go, Lynn, let's go get a drink. And then I just end up fucking shooting the shit. I leave her over in the corner. <laughs> fucking, oh. Do you think... It, do you think she feels like my buddy being married to you is like a penance in a way. You know what? I got to be honest with you. I'm being dead serious. Yeah. Is it like, so like, like you know, when they whip their backs, like this is the price I have to pay. I think she feels like, I think she feels like she got what she deserved. <laughs> like, I don't think like, I feel like I got what I wanted. I think she feels like she got what she deserved. Like she's like, I, I didn't deserve much better than this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm, like they're like. It's so it's like it's so honest well, what you're saying and funny and and then like equally sad to me. Well, yeah, because well, I mean, I think I think ideally she sees herself. I mean, I'm sure everyone sees himself in a better life, but uh -huh. like, I'm sure she sees herself with someone who's more supportive and. Like, maybe you should do this. And, and maybe I should have been like that when I was younger. I'm like that now, but I was not like that when I was younger. I was like... When you were first married. Dude, when I was first married, I was like, we need to make money. I'll just go on the road. Like, this is what I'll do. I, don't, I was thinking the other day, I don't remember my 30s at all. Like, Jesus. I have no recollection How old of my are you 30s. Now? 46. I remember turning 40, but at 40, I still felt like I was 33. Like, I look at people when I go like... Mm. You just turned 40? Yeah. And I go, like, I, someone was told me someone was, Brendan Schaub's like 34 or something. Probably 34, 35. And I was like, huh? Like, I have no recollection of my 30s. I mean, I, I had kids. Are you glad that the path took you on the path that you're on? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yes? Dude, yeah. I would have, I was thinking about this in the shower. There's a lot of guys when, when we, I say we started, and I, I know that I started before you, but I think. I always felt like we came up at the same time. Right. I'm not oh. staying with these. Okay. Those aren't as good as you'd think. Really? Yeah. Um, 
I'm taking these home. Okay. The there were so many guys that got things that we didn't get in this business, like Montreal. Uh, uh, they knew all the um, casting people at like uh, Comedy Central. They were like best friends with them, and they knew execs, and they like had famous friends. And me and you did not. We were just like two comics that yeah. drove to Brea to do spots and then drove home. And like, we weren't getting like the cool spot no. at the Hollywood Improv. So I'm so grateful for that because we learned how to do stand up as opposed to learn how to work the business. And those guys who learned how to work the business never learned stand up. And now they're being phased out of the business because they still don't know how to stand up. They know how to like take a general meeting and know everyone's names, but that doesn't fucking matter anymore. No, it's Now true. everyone just wants good content. It's true. Yeah. And then, and I think they were too proud to start podcasts. Dude, this cunt fucking reached out to me and he was like, I'm doing a thing about stand up. It's the greatest stand ups in the, in the, uh, some fucking thing about stand up. All the greatest stand ups in the country are on it. I'd love to be on your podcast to promote it. And I was like, I looked in the names. Not one of them has a podcast. I'm not on his fucking show. Not one of my friends is on his show. I was like, you can go fuck yourself. No, you. You, you took who was you a darling tell. in 2001 and you fucking put all of them on your fucking thing because you're an old fucking asshole. And then you hit me up like going, you're an old asshole. You'll take me. Fuck off. Go fuck. Dude, I get so fucking pissed by this shit. Because I go, no, man. Like, oh, fuck, whatever. I can't wait to hear who this is. You won't even know his name. Oh, no, I thought you were farting. No. <laughs> <laughs> Will you tell me? Oh, I've heard, I've, I've heard the name. Yeah. There's so many people like that. There's so many people where you just like, uh, I don't know. How long have we been on? 45 minutes. That's it? Yeah. Wow. I feel like I've been through a fucking emotional experience. No. Sweet. When do you go back on the road? Dude, I fly out Monday for a long week. Oh, no, you're not going to Europe. Week. No, but it's a long U.S. week. What are you doing? Wait, you're doing Tuesday? Yeah. Louisville, then more Louisville, then Indy, then St. Louis, then Chicago, then or then Detroit, then Chicago again. So you're doing two in Chicago. Yeah, those are my fourth. Then going to fourth. Detroit and then coming back to Chicago. No, no, no. Sorry. So I, it goes Louisville, Indy, St. Louis, Detroit, Chicago. Tour bus? Yeah. Who's going with you? Mike Cronin. I don't know. He's Where do you great. find these features? All over the country. And then like... like what, but like, what, like, I get so picky about yeah. um, sharing space with someone. Yeah, the only I only invite you on the bus if I know you and trust you and like you for sure where did you meet mike cronin oh my god i've known him i don't know years now I, really? probably in cincinnati originally he was a go bananas guy and then oh, okay and then uh i've, I've toured with him before he's See, great he's hilarious that, can i tell you what's changed totally in this business is when we started there were people who were like yeah man i'm a cincinnati comic that's my thing i'm a, I'm a cleveland comic yeah. I'm, not, I'm not leaving my scene i got a great scene oh yeah i'm a houston comic that shit's gone there is no one staying in their scene anymore Everyone wants to... Uh, dude, you know who's living in fucking New York? Yeah. Bob Biggerstaff. Does he live in New York now? Lives in fucking New York. Bob Biggerstaff. Dude, one of my favorite... I, I fucking love Bob Biggerstaff. He's hilarious. And he's finally in fucking New York. And I was like, God damn it, man. You know who didn't like him was your... Was your Cowhead kid. hates him. Yeah. He told me that on air. I was like, why? I guess they had a... But that's Bob, weird no, when you... No, when Bob you, is just... When you host a show, though, and you're on the air five days a week for years... There's just going to be mornings where you run into somebody and it's not going to work out. Well, Bob's also, yeah, I mean, I get it. I get it. I, and I don't know, maybe the thing I liked in Bob doesn't translate on radio. Yeah. Like, I, I know, I mean, I, you've got a little bit of Bob in you. Like, what trans? what's funny in you maybe isn't amazing on radio. <laughs> I'm terrible on radio. I mean, but see, what's good in me, like the thing that I always want things to be a 10. Yeah. That's, I'm like, I was, cre God, when God made me, he went, uh, he'll have a good throwing arm. Uh, he'll be okay running long distances, and he'll be faster than the majority of Asians. Um, he'll uh, 
Yeah. He'll have a head of hair that'll last him till 46. He can cheat it and make look. It looks like he has a full head. And he is going to be perfect for morning radio. You're like I am perfect for yes. morning radio. Like, I would I say am, we are polar opposites. Why does that, like, everybody listen? There's a. Uh, I can tell you nine out of ten times, radio morning radio segments with me end, and they're just like, "Thanks for coming in." <laughs> But, but okay, then then here's my question: Why are you? Why is that that with radio? But like on something like Rogan, you are so good. Like you and Ari are probably the two best Rogan appearance guys that I've ever seen. Where you just you can flow and just have a conversation because of the it's because of the format though it's long form conversation what what you're talking it's a skill set the radio th- I'm, i mean i don't knock it for ha- like for having the skill set the yeah. skill set is you know what the environment is on morning radio and it's like are you do you play ball or not and you go in there and people who are good at it go in and they go there's a at a minimum maybe at a maximum 10 minutes to capitalize on this I'm going to heighten the, I'm going to take it to a 10. I go in there with the opposite mentality. I don't care if you don't like me. I'm not going to fucking shuck and jive for you. Yeah. Um, you know, and I was like that, by the way, 12 years ago. You were like that when it didn't, when it didn't help your career. Yeah. You, dude, they would, by the way, I would by the be way. in the car leaving radio with the club person and a station manager would call the club manager and go, what was that all about? <laughs> and I would just go like, I don't care. Why though? Why did you not care? Like that's, because I can't understand You know what that. it is? Okay. It's, it comes from, a, there's a little, it's a, it's, it's a combination of when you're, when you're, let's say not a, a, a an act, like a, a ticket selling act, but you feel like what you do is funny or like you feel like I'm, I'm a I'm a good act to come see, and the the arrogance and the the like the the vibe of some of those people in the station being like, let's see if you're you're good enough for me, would oh make me God. go like, you can fucking eat my ass. That's so, so funny. It did the exact opposite for oh, me. Oh yeah. So I would I would go in there and be like uh, like if they're like. All right, you can be funny when we come back from the break. I go, let's see if you're fucking funny when we come back from the break. But you got like, <clears throat> this is what, like, people listening to this go, like, are probably going, yeah, Tom, because they're like, they know you now. Yeah. They don't realize you were doing this when that was... Completely when, unknown. Everyone yeah. thought that's the end of Tom's career. <laughs> like, I remember, I remember you blowing up. I remember more than anything, you blowing up the Dayton Improv, or Dayton Funny Bone. Just going like, fuck this club. Fuck the management. Fuck the way it's run. This fucking sucks. I'm telling everyone this is fucking bullshit. And I remember going, Tom, don't say anything. Don't say anything. And then you went on Rogan and you were like, fuck this. And then I remember Stroop going, what's wrong with your buddy Tom? And then next thing you know, he's like, man, Tom was right. And I was like, what the fuck? (laughs) That guy doesn't even work improvs anymore. I know. He had five kids. What? He had five or six kids. Are you serious? Yes. Yes. That man. Do you know what he fucking told me one time? What? So what's the guy that's dead? Um, Medicine Hat? Jay Medicine Hat. Yeah. Okay. So Jay Medicine Hat was a hypnotist comic. Jay Medicine Hat was a big Native American. This is a, I'm just giving you a sidebar to the story. These are the things I love about Jay Medicine Hat. Jay Medicine Hat was a Native American comic. It's just the initial J. Yeah. Just Jay Medicine Hat. Yeah. A big, I mean, he dressed like he was out of Deadwood. I mean, not even joking. Yeah. And he would drink whiskey on stage, and sometimes he'd and go he on was, stage and just go, yeah, like, yep. yeah, take a look at his headshot to the left, far left, far left. Yeah, okay, there you go. All right, so he was a dirty um, hypnotist. hypnotist comedian act. Did you know, I, I found this out later, that he would, in like some of those Midwestern funny bone markets, Columbus, Dayton, the St. Louis, like, you know, that, that, that circle of them, he would, at one point they were bringing him in. He would sell out the weekend, uh, five and six times a year. Yeah. So they were having him in like January, March, June, August, October, and like sold out every, I was like, what? So I come in to Dayton. They, 
the guy picks me up from the airport. Yeah. He's taking me to the condo. I, this is, I'm going to do six shows for 1200 bucks. Right. And he's like, you know, he's a nice guy. And, and we're sitting there and I'm like, how's the condo? He's like, well, yeah, I guess it's all right. I mean, we got to clean it. We had to clean it up. And I was like, well, that's nice. Don't you clean it up between everybody? And he's like, yeah. Uh, but Jay Medicine Hat was there last week. And I go, well, what does that mean? And he goes, well, you know, he trimmed his pubes in the sink and he, oh. you know, he like pissed on the bed. And I go, hey, I go, did you clean it up? And they're like, yeah. I go, then why did you tell me that shit? Oh. Like, I don't want to have to think about his pubes in the sink. And they're like, yeah, it was a big, it was a big mess. He, he's oh. nasty, but he's great. Anyways, you're gonna have a great week here. And I was like, dude, so that was like one of those things. It's, it's, like, it's this, it's this bully mentality where they peck you down yes. to make you feel like shit about yourself. So you feel grateful. It's, it's a pimp mentality. I just bought Iceberg Slim. Yeah. Pimp. Yeah. It's a pimp mentality. I'm also watching Deadwood right now. Those You're watching Deadwood? Yeah. Hey, by the way, why are they... I just saw a billboard for Deadwood. They're doing a movie. Oh, I'm like, yeah. why are they promoting Deadwood again? Jay Medicine Hat died in a Target. He did? Can you imagine... Can you imagine... Every wait, fucking day of my you're, life. You're going to get like... Like a milk. detergent milk. and milk and you... You turn the corner and you see like a shitty hypnotist dead. <laughs> That's so funny. On I thought ground. you were going to say, and I died. <laughs> I definitely think about me dying in a Target all oh my the God. fucking time. Dying in a hotel gymnasium, just having a, a stroke. Are you, are you good on your drink? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right. She's an intern, by the way. She's our new intern. I gotta find a new assistant. You do? Yeah. What happened? He quit. When? I think I rode him too hard. Seriously? Wait, lifestyle stuff? Yeah. He just couldn't keep up with partying? He's just like, I, I'm a lot. <laughs> it's, it's a, I was a lot. I hope you're listening, Allie. Yeah, it was a lot. So I gotta find a new Cobra. Really? Keep the name Cobra, I'll just get a new assistant. Just keep switching out Cobras. Like Ricky Tiki Tavi. Yeah. The, uh, um, you want to see if you can catch one? Yeah. What if I choke and this is how I die? Oh my God. That would be such a good podcast. See how high you can go though. Okay. Ready? No. Nope. All right. Oh, that was on the tongue. It was on the tongue. Oh, it's two together. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's solid right there. Someone cut together like a 1980s best friends montage. Please. Besties. And then throw a couple alley-oops in there. Like, I want to see Gary Payton to Sean Kemp, you know, same kind of trajectory. And I want to see some viewing parties of you with your best friend watching this together. Why aren't we going to tour together? You want to tour together? So badly, dude. I would I'll do love it. that. You know what we should do it? We should do it on our, like, because we're both going to shoot and then... We're going to be like, oh shit. And there's going to be a point in early 2020 when we each have like 30 minutes. Yes. That's when we should do some dates together. Fuck yes. That would be fucking awesome. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm okay. in. That'd be fucking great. I mean, it's all new material. We'll do like casinos and shit. You know, where it doesn't like matter. I love that, dude. Yeah. Let me go out to the bars afterward and parties with everyone. No, you can. Why don't you do that? You don't like, you don't like. I just, I was reading about smallpox last night. Yeah. Deadwood. Yeah. And so, um, and I was like, dude, I'm a honeypot. If there's a new disease out there, I'm the one getting it. Your idea of a post-show come down is literally. I love that it gives you anxiety. Nightmare. I love that it gives you anxiety. Do you realize how I, I've, I've met six people on this tour so far? Shut I, up. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I only meet people if they're at the stage door when I enter or leave. For real? Yeah. Then some of them do, and I'm super nice to them, but I don't do any type of... Oh. Meet. So wait, you do a big fucking theater and then you go, Let's go to Mickey's, like that? Dude, 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 dude. I, one of my favorite things in the... I, I love it. I go, I always go, what's a, what's a good bar? Dude, when we go to, into Boston... <laughs> so crazy. There's a bar that maybe holds 200 people and it is cram packed with at least 600. And wait, what there. happens with you when you're at this? Just it's like it's like being a joint in jail. Like it's just pass, I get passed around. 
and then like, you're in a lot of people's mouths. People are kissing you, and and you love it. You love I it. I like it. I like it because I'm that guy. I'll tell you what. My daughter's softball team won the championship. Uh huh. This girl Nicole. Did you tell her you're like this was not because of you? You tell her that or no? No, I told her it was because of her because she <laughs> cheered really hard. <laughs> I love you, Georgia. She's gonna see this in college and be like, "Are you?" That's what he was saying about me. <laughs> I love it's going to take her five years to figure out <laughs> YouTube. It'll be her. And her, it'll be her and her friends. Hey, your dad's on here with Tom Segura. Yeah. Um, oh my God. Look how skinny Tom was. The, uh, <laughs> Georgia, uh, this girl, Nicole fucking won the game. I love, I love this kid, man. She fucking rocks. I love her. Cause she's a shit talker and a fucking baller. Yeah. She's a, uh, she plays like left, right field. She's a lefty. She can crush the fucking ball, right? Yeah. And she is just so focused. I've never really seen, in my, in my life, I've never seen women focused at sports this way. Mm -hmm. You know, like I'm so accustomed to it being a guy thing. And when it's guy, it's such a male aggro mentality. But when you see a woman focused, it's a different energy. Man, she gets up, runner on, uh, game's tied, runner on first and second. She gets up, two outs, two strikes, one ball, rubs her hand in the dirt looks at the crowd, gets up, crushes the fucking ball, hits a home run. And but it's it's a it's a it's a weird home run say over through third, so she got to take home. But when she got to third, she grabbed a handful of sand, looked at the crowd and just did this. What? And I went, that and I fucking dude, such a gangster move. At the end of the game, and you're like, I, I want her. <laughs> at the end of the game, at the end of the game, I'm with Leanne and I'm like and she's like, "Hey, uh, you don't, don't say anything. You don't have to say anything to Nicole. I was like, I'm definitely talking to her. Like, I'm definitely going to congratulate her and tell her I thought it was a great game. I'm going to have a moment. Like, that's what I do. Because I'm that person also. Yeah. The person that wants to say hi to me after the show, I, I, it was so uncomfortable because Leanne said that to me and then Nicole walked by. I was like, yo, Nick. And she just didn't notice me. I was like, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> and Leanne's like, Bert, let it go. And I was like, no, I'm not done yet. Hold on. Nick, Nick, Nick. Nick. Oh, great game. You fucking killed it. Oh, way to go. And like, but that's so me. You need that. I need that. I need yeah. that connection. So I understand that people need it also. I, like, I, I guess get I get, I understand. I mean, it does give me anxiety. If you, right? if you're, if, if you are the kind of person that could go to one of those games and just, or like see a celebrity and not say anything, yeah. then it totally makes sense that you would be like, yeah, that's who I am. Yeah. So that's how I want to be. But I am not that person. Like, I get that. I've not a, once seen a celebrity. Here's what would be fun to me. Okay. I could go to the after show thing if I knew you're there. And I know where the exits are. Yeah. Like if I could hang out with you in that situation, I would be like, cause I could enjoy <laughs> you being the M the, you know, master of ceremonies. Oh yeah. And like hang out with you, but not alone. No fucking way. I, no. I, or I, I need to be with somebody who is a uh, bigger personality wise in that situation. I don't feel comfortable just being like, hi. Oh dude. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want any part of it. Yeah, I love it. I like going to the room and just like watching TV and then have Are you know what I actually do love? On a on a one show reading, night, reading books, push-ups, I don't know, <laughs> all the shit I hate. On a one show night, which is rare cuz I add so many shows, but on a one show night, I will One show night. Let me remember what those are like. <laughs> Okay. On those nights, I love finding a good restaurant in town. I'm serious. And just going like post-show meal, it's the best. Oh, I heard someone talk about me one time. It was Marin. Yeah. I didn't even realize I said it, but I do this all the time. Is I would just go into it. This is like right when I st first started touring. I just go into a venue and go, what's good here? And they're like, huh? I go, what's, what are you guys known for? And they'd be like, Coney's. I go, uh, here's a hundred bucks. Give me a hundred of them. And they're like, huh? And I go, give me like, whatever you're big for, give me like fucking fill the room with it. And I get fucking conies. What's your best pizza? We're deep dish. Oh, dude, we're getting ten deep dishes. And I and it was only like four of us on the road. And I would, but I would just, I got start giving it to people. I mean, I got Sal Volcano in it. I was like, what's big here? I would forget where we were. And and they were like, oh, you know what's great here is dot dot dot. And I was like, here's a hundred bucks. Make it rain. I love that feeling. I love that feeling. But I don't know. Maybe that's where the one thing when I finally go to rehab, they'll be like, "Yeah, you got to dial that back." Yeah, yeah, yeah. They I wish they, I would. Do you think? Do you see that in the future though? Rehab? Yeah. No. Not even like in a few years. No. I don't. I don't have a. I don't have a, My problem isn't one thing. It's everything. It's yeah, like, they do rehab for that too. No. I, I think what'll happen. I can see. I can feel it. 
I don't know. Okay, I don't I'm know. fucking I, finished I would, another one. Yeah, let's kill it. Fucking ghosty. Wow. No, I don't have a problem with drinking. <laughs> I don't. I. I. My. I. I. I've talked. I. I would love to go to rehab. I would love it. I would love that focus on me for one month. You would love it. Would love it. You should do it just as like an exercise. Go to like one of the Malibu ones. I would love to do it's it. It's like a fucking vacation for man. a bit. Yeah, great. But you'll get a. You might get a new hour out of it, <laughs> dude. That's how you get the new hour. Yeah, go to rehab. Yeah. My buddy went. My buddy's been to rehab. And then like, you shoot the special, and the special goes like amazing and at the end of the special when you say thank you they wheel out a cart of booze and drugs the problem is you never bounce back from rehab really no no one's ever like no one's i mean maybe that sounds wrong but like you look at like ben affleck right yeah ben affleck is never going to be able to like is that ben affleck yeah ben 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 affleck ben affleck ben affleck okay but like once you go to rehab once you're fucked yeah. You can't party ever again. That's true. And I don't ever want to be that guy. I would just assume, <laughs> I don't ever want to be that guy. Yeah. I'm sure that would it's go the right well on the first day of yeah. rehab. Here's the problem. I'm not cool with this idea. <laughs> is that now I can't party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the whole gig, Bert. <laughs> that's, that's what they want. Yeah. I just want to, I just want to like, like who doesn't want to hit a vape pen every now and then? Yeah. You know? Well, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Hey. Oh, Tom killed his. Yeah, but oh, you're the man. You. You're welcome. Thanks so much. I'll be right back. With okay, yours. thanks. By the way, I love this it. is like the. I like that. Your 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 gaze is stronger. You you're like, it's the third time, and this time you went. Dude, there's there's so many differences. In like in like younger women and older women, tell us are like uh, decolletage. What decolletage? Like the area right here. Uh huh. You love that. No, it's just like it's like it's because you like blousing. You said you like the blousing. I used to like down blousing. Yeah, down blousing. Yeah, down blousing. <laughs> what else? Not blousing. Just yeah. oh yeah, um, down fat guy playing basketball. What, what, <laughs> what are you? What are you, what are you into now? Do you have a new genre? No, I haven't been into porn. I've been on. I haven't really jerked off in a really long time. What? Yeah, I don't. It just kind of pulled back. I don't know, I, and I can't really connect with porn at all. Why not? I haven't. I don't know. I've been on the road a lot in Europe, and I didn't have time to. Like, watch. It's not like a weekend at the uh, at the Funny Bone. What do I need to know about? Thank you so. Do you know what a decolletage is? I sure do. Yeah, thank De- you. you do. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Great. Just, that was, Jesus you know what Christ. that was like <laughs> that was like when you're at a bar and like a cute server comes up and someone's like hey and she's like go fuck yourself <laughs> i sure do old man thank you <laughs> oh that was so great one of my favorite terms is a sloppy decolletage uh-huh. that's what old women get it's oh, when there's wrinkles. The, yeah, in the middle. Yeah, you like it. You yeah, like it. I love a sloppy decolletage. No one says that. <laughs> I I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love a sloppy decolletage, like, like a, a little good, wrinkle. Oh, like yeah. an Arizona decolletage. Yeah, where they just they didn't know that this meat was gonna get all fucking wrinkly. Yeah, I like it. Know, yeah, I love I like it. it. I love it. Wait, you didn't? You haven't jerked off in a long time. In a long time. Does it? Doesn't bother you? You know. No, no, it hasn't. I. The last time I jerked off was in Amsterdam, um, and I was and I just couldn't get it going. That's probably a good health sign. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was you like, don't I, get I pent I up. You don't get. I get pent up with rage. No, after. no, no. I don't get pent up with rage. Wait, what do you mean? Like, if I haven't cleared the pipes in one way or another. Wait, do you ever throw a temper tantrum that you're not having sex? Not. No, not directly like we're not having sex. But what happens is I start being like the fucking thing is wrong and this shit's all fucking stupid. And then, you know, <laughs> if I'm if I'm with Christina, she'll be like, you need to you need to get milked. How often but, do you guys how often do you guys have sex? Well, when we're around each other. No, no, no. When you're d- apart. Yeah. Well, no, I'm saying because it's a it's <laughs> no, not, no, no. I want to know both. <laughs> when when you're apart, how often do you when we're apart on the road? I'm pretty good. <laughs> 
It's it's kind of a bang bus. One time someone asked me, have you ever had a, a toy in your ass? And I said, sex toy? And they go, doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, yeah. So wait, how often? They say the national average is six times a month. Yeah, but not when, when we're, we're, we're out like two weeks at I'm a time. I'm six times a month, definitely. We had, I had twice the other day. With Christina? Yeah. What yeah. the fuck? What's up, man? She, what was she? Did she want a purse or something? No, I was just like twice. <laughs> yeah, I was just. I'm forty, bro. I remember I had a buddy. I had to work for that second one. I'm not gonna lie, but <laughs> I, I had a buddy who uh, first one was fast. Started dating this <laughs> chick. Oh, first one. Oh my god, dude. Uh, I'm so sorry. I think someone's breaking into my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, do you hear that? The sprinklers are on. I'm gonna go turn them off. Um, awesome. yeah, Leanne stole my orgasms for a period of time, and I was I was fucked with my head. What? <laughs> she was talking when i had my orgasm she'd say something oh and it was fucking stealing the the feeling would she say like we got to pay our mortgage or no like... no the first time she, i was about to have an orgasm and she saw it happening in my eyes and she went oh look at him oh god and I, exactly and i was like do don't do that like <laughs> don't talk don't say a fucking word like if you see me have an orgasm shut your fucking mouth close your eyes <laughs> fucking say shit you're who the that. fuck says shit when you're about to come cops like what the fuck <laughs> no that's horrible yeah and that's so horrible and so then, no, isn't that like natural you know to shut the fuck up everybody does right when you see an orgasm you're not like ah, oh, it's gonna feel real good in oh, a second. it's like, happening <laughs> fire in the hole <clears throat> oh my god yeah and so uh and then and then she did it again. The next time we did it, um, I was about to have an orgasm and she was like, oh, you have a hair on your face. And I was like, huh? And it kind of threw me off. And then I started, and not to fuck up other people's orgasms, but I started, when I started getting close, my brain started yelling weird shit. Like just like the worst things you could think of. And I was like, oh, fuck. N-word? No. Oh. Dude, no, I'm not going there. What? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> All right. Um, we were talking, I was talking, I was talking, I was talking to my black friend the other day. Mm -hmm. I was talking to two black guys, right? And we yeah. were talking about, it was at on that bar. Is it Pat's? No, 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 no. It was, uh, oh, can I tell you something crazy? Yeah. Uh, I have a friend who said, he goes, I've never said the N word in my entire life. I go, that's bullshit. He's <laughs> like, no, I swear to God, I've never said it. I've never said it once. I said, you've never, even, like, I'm not saying used it. I'm saying said it. Everyone said the word, like you've never said it. And he goes, no, I've never said it. I was like, everyone said that. How word. old is this person? 43. Okay. And I go, that's bullshit. I can't believe that. And he goes, no, I swear to God. So we go to Pat's and we're with um, Omar Dorsey. You know Omar? Yeah. Omar Dorsey and, uh, and Tone Bell. Mm -hmm. And we're all hanging out. And uh, I, I don't know in what capacity this happened. Oh, my God. But the guy's telling a story. And in the story, this guy says the N-word. By the way, he had just said to Omar and Tone, I've never said the N-word. And they're like, bullshit. Every white guy said the N-word. And he goes, no, I've never. I'm one of the few guys. And I defended him. I go, he's a fucking lawyer. He grew up in Santa Monica. I promise you, he's never said the N-word. Five minutes later, he says the N-word. He's drunk. He doesn't even realize he says it. I tell him the next day, you fucking said the N-word to two black guys. And he's like, bullshit. Recount it back. And he's like, God damn it. I guess I did. I, holy fuck. That's strike one. Yeah. I was like, you said it to black people. Yeah. Who the fuck? But um, <laughs> I think that was the story I was going to tell. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. We were talking about, uh, we were talking about, oh, never mind. I'll tell you privately. Okay. Don't yeah. forget. I, I, I won't. It's a good one. This is a good story. How often are we going to do this? Um, I think we could do it. This is super easy. Yeah. We could bang out two of these a month easy. Okay. And then do it twice a month is it is is that's a fair commitment, right? Yeah, very fair. And if and it, and if it if if it starts blowing up, we can do more. But okay. if not, I mean, two a month is easy, and I think they're fun. I th I think it's a treat. Okay, cool. It's cool, like cool. a donut or a, with uh, Tito's in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Here will be the deal. Okay? okay. Okay. Every time we do these, I'll ride my bike here. Okay. So th and then and then that will award me to drink and eat donuts. That's totally that is a good deal. Yeah. Yeah. And then what are you gonna do? And then I'll meet you here. 
<laughs> and you'll organize it? Yeah. You'd realize you've, you're turning into a grown-up. Am I? Hard fucking core. You've leaned into being a grown-up more than, way more than I have. Like in what From way? When we met, you are definitely a grown-up. But how, how am I a grown-up? What do you mean? Like, what are you going to do now? Go to a workout class? I'm going to pick up my kid from school. Ugh. <laughs> what should I do? Leave him there? <laughs> no, it's called Uber. Just have him Uber? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's three and a half. Uh, you must be you, huh? I'm looking for a three-year-old. <laughs> you, see, you see your son with his fucking notebook, just his backpack on? Wait, how else am I a grown-up? You just, everything about you is a grown-up. Really? Yeah, yeah. I was ta- yeah. You said grown up things to me like two years ago that now grown ups are saying to me, and I'm like, oh yeah, I should have done that. <laughs> okay. Now I have fucking heartburn. I was so healthy <laughs> when I got here. I was in great shape. I gotta go for a hike. <laughs> I was down. I, I lost 13 pounds. <laughs> look, you want to see my fucking weight loss? Look at this weight. 13 loss. pounds in uh, three days? Yeah. That's not normal. <laughs> look at it. What's the name of our? Do you use the Withings <clears throat> scale? <clears throat> the what? Withing scale. I don't know what that is. It's a scale. It's, it's countability. Here, I'll show you. Look at my weight loss. Today I was, I guess it's not totally. Do You got up to 260. Here. Hang on. Let's see if I can see the. Okay. Here we go. You can see my my weight loss oh. is right there to there. Let me see this. So it's so people that, yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but. There's a, a chart, spike. a spike. That's a, that's called Europe. That's the weight going up in the Europe. Weight, yeah, it's Europe, and then the drop Dude, off. Dude, I'm gonna be in Europe during sober October. No. Yeah, I finish. Here's the thing: I get to do the UK in November, but I I do the first dates in October, because I do Budapest, Paris, Amsterdam, Antwerp. What are we gonna do for sober October in Berlin? Year? I have no idea. We need to start getting the idea going. Can I tell you what I think? What? Hip hop dance. What? Like learn a dance? Hit learn hip hop dance. You think Joe dance. will do that? Can we learn a dance. Hey, um, can you pull up? Can you pull up? Um, th- look, and we'll, we'll each have to do one of these dances and we put them online and we find out who's the best. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you. Oh, Joe had Tommy Chong on today. Yesterday. Um, do you ever see those little girls who do dance classes? You think Joe, Joe would do this? Hold on. Um, there's a girl. Okay. There, oh, I need you to find this video. Okay. Yeah. Look at these dance classes. We each do one dance and we put them up online, but we got to learn a dance for the whole year month. <sighs> um, what's Missy Elliott? Missy. I, this girl Ashling B posted a video of this girl doing a dance a yeah. long time ago, and it was so great. But uh, I want you to save telling this to Joe for the for a podcast. Yeah, because I want to see his reaction so badly. Joe's never doing hip hop dance, which is like, why are we? <laughs> well, it's got to be something we can take on the road with us. I know. So it's got to be something you can travel with. Yeah. Pull up one of those dances. Pull up one of those girls on Instagram dancing. Put in Instagram, put in hip hop dance. Or we can we could also just wrap it up. <laughs> Instagram, hip hop dance. My daughters and I follow all these girls and then we went to a dance class together. <laughs> yeah. And one of the and it's the place that we've been following them and they do it with oh, here we go. Hip hop dance videos. No, you need a girl in a dance studio. Girl in a dance studio. Go down to the one with the girl with the red hat. This is what we're gonna do. Okay. Let's see. This is it. We're going to do Muted. Yeah, I see. So they're girl. Yep. Yeah, I could see us doing that as, as a foursome. You, we do, me, well, we Ari each do Joe. individuals and we learn a foursome dance. Think how viral our foursome dance will no, go. It'll go viral. <laughs> but, oh man. Yeah. This is a great idea. Yeah, we do hip hop dance. 
The Body Shots World Tour is all over the world, adding shows. The Fall Tour was just announced. Is the website still Burt, Burt, Burt? Burt, Burt, Burt Burt.com. Burt, 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 Burt.com. Listen to the Burt cast. Um, Follow him on social media. Uh, at Bert Kreischer, I'm doing the Take, take It, it down. down tour. Dates added all over the place. Make sure to go find them. Hey, you never really commented on my revamp of your tour announcement. Oh, that was really fun. It was fucking great. It was great. It was, by the way, can you just play that to take us out and that'll promo Tom's dates? That's one of my favorite fucking edits I ever did. I called you though. I guess like, I didn't, I called you about it. I don't think I answered. I don't think I talked to you about it. No, we talked. For real? Yes, we talked. Keep about going it. down. Keep Scroll going down. down. Scroll down. So what he did is he took my... Dude, I ended up having to pay someone to get to the... No, there, there no, it is, right? No, that's not no, it. No, in the middle with the helicopter. Right yeah, 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 right yeah, 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 yeah. This is... I'm going so to So he he re tour is the biggest tour I've ever done. The Machine Promo Remix. And we are about to announce the second half of this world tour. Tom's going to take it down tour. New shows worldwide. And he'll be getting there on a helicopter. A fucking helicopter. Move over, Magnum P.I. All shows will sell out. And they better, because he's got a fucking jet. Can you believe it? We'll be following him down hallways, on stages, back on his jet. And of course, if you know Tom, we'll be spending lots of time at the gym. <laughs> That's what Take It Down stands for. Taking down donuts and eclairs because someone's hungry. <laughs> no word for too short. Your boy too short. Make sure you go fuck with my homie Thompson Brewer on the Take It Down tour. We taking it all. Too short plugs down though. Dude, the yeah, I know. I was going to fuck around with too short, but I, I like him so much. Yeah, yeah. Did you like that? That was I, hilarious. I used his biatch in the middle because... And by the way, the Jets... Yeah. We're in an airport hangar. They weren't on jets. I was actually flying. Are you on. fucking serious? <laughs> yeah. They gave you me a tour. Fucking Bandelzarian <laughs> motherfucker. They gave me a tour and I was like, oh, I'll just throw it in. But there oh, that's frames. Brilliant. Yeah. That's fucking brilliant. Um, all right. This was a lot of fun, dude. This was a blast. Uh, thanks. I love you. I love you too. And we'll uh, we'll do it again. All right. Thanks, guys.